Welcome to Eating Well with Crystal. Do you eat beans? How often do you eat them? How much do you know about beans? Today, let's talk about beans. First, why should we eat beans? In short, eating beans and legumes can help you live longer. New York Times best-selling author Dan Butner, who traveled the blue zones around the world from Europe to Asia to find out what those longest-lived people eat every day, revealed in his book *Blue Zone and the Blue Zone Kitchen*, beans are the primary food in their daily meals. Not just him. The leading nutritionist and food scientist all agree that beans provide protein, fiber, folate, iron, and many other nutrients, while containing little or no fat, sodium, and cholesterol. Eating them four times a week or more can lower your blood pressure, reverse type 2 diabetes, regulate your weight, fix your leaky gut, and prevent cancers. But what are the beans? Are you confused with beans and legumes? Ever heard of the term pulses? Although used interchangeably, a legume refers to the plant that includes the leaves, stems, and the pods. A pulse is the edible seed from a legume plant, which includes lentils, peas, and beans. When we say eat more beans, it really means eating more legumes. But there are well over 400 different types of beans growing throughout the world. Most beans can't find their way onto our grocery shelves, unless you're a farmer and don't rely on the grocery store to get your daily food supplies. Nine out of ten times, you will encounter these following beans: black beans, kidney beans, navy beans, pinto beans, soy beans, lima beans, mung beans, and lentils. Not like the green leafy veggies that you can eat raw. For the beans, you have to cook them thoroughly, which takes longer time. Who has time these days to spend hours every day in the kitchen? That's what I want to share with you today to meal prep this easy crockpot bean recipe one time and enjoy throughout the week to take advantage of the benefits of the beans without spending too much time in kitchen. Now let's get into it. For this video. I use the black beans, peanuts, soybeans, lima beans, and this conveniently blended bean mix. I also add quinoa, which is not necessarily a bean, but its cooking method is very similar to the beans, and it is the whole protein plant food that contains all nine essential amino acids. Coax seeds. A traditional Chinese medicine herb that is used to drain dampness, dispel excess heat from the heart, and spontaneous bleeding. Lotus seed, commonly used in traditional Chinese medicine to neutralize the toxic effect of other foods and nourish the body. Feel free to add any other beans you like to make your own version of the bean mix. I'm going to use my slow cooker to cook this bean recipe. Add all the ingredients together. Rinse clean. Then add ginger slices, green onion slices, star anise, dried chili pepper, few pieces of peppercorns, two spoons light soy sauce, one spoon dark soy sauce. Mix and add water to completely soak the ingredients under. Put the pot back into its base. Plug in. Close the lid. Turn the heat on high, and let it cook three to four hours. Occasionally stir to avoid the beans stick to the bottom. Add water before the mix dries out. Cook until the beans are soft and taste creamy. Add some salt to adjust the taste if needed. Cool it down, then transfer it out to small sealable containers. I also smash a portion of it to use for dip sauce. Pack it.
and label it. Put all the containers in fridge for multiple use. Next, I want to show you seven ways to easily add this bean recipe into your daily meals. Let's start with breakfast. This is my oatmeal plate. Besides the oatmeal and egg, I add chopped kale, apple slices, blueberries, pomegranate seeds. Then I heat the bean mix in the microwave for 30 seconds. Add on top of the bowl. Mix together. Every bite contains multiple items to provide rich nutrients to feed your body. And it tastes really good. Number two, fill out your taco or burrito. I use this whole grain soft taco sheet. The fillings include ground beef with onions, veggies contains tomato cucumbers with guacamole, and I add the bean mix on top of it. Garnish with some chopped cilantro, roll it up. Have a bite of this homemade Mexican burrito that will fill you up with all the healthy ingredients. The third way is to add to the topping of your salad. I like to prepare my salad by using various leafy green at the base. Colorful veggies to pop the color. Multiple fruits to enrich the taste. Nuts and seeds for the protein. The added bean mix will make this colorful, tasty salad even more satiating and get me through my regular 16 to 8 intermittent fasting two meal daily schedules. The simplest way to eat this bean mix is to eat on its own. Just heat in the microwave for one minute. You can add some colorful veggies like this chopped sweet peppers or other leafy greens. It is delicious enough for a lazy day when you don't want to cook at all. I also like to use the smashed bean mix to replace the meat patty for my sandwich. Heat the smashed bean mix, add in chopped sweet peppers, mix, toast two pieces of whole grain bread, spread the bean and veggie mix on the bread, Add extra leafy greens such as spinach or whatever you like. Close it up, cut diagonally. A simple healthy sandwich is ready in just a few minutes. You can also use the smashed bean mix as the dip for snacks. Simply dip your cracker into the bean mix, scoop it up, and have a bite. You turn your afternoon snack into an energy booster to carry you through the rest of your day. The last one, pair with your favorite dinner meal, like this bowl of brown rice, veggie salad, bean mix, and extra dose of leafy greens. Finish up with a pop color grape tomatoes. Every bite is a mix of different texture and rich tastes provided by these whole natural foods from Mother Nature. This is how to meal prep the bean recipe and the seven ways to add to your daily meals. I hope this video can inspire you to eat more beans, legumes, to replace the refined carbs such as white bread, white rice, and pasta. Start with small steps like this easy crock pot bean recipe to make your everyday meal healthier. If you like this video, check out other healthy eating videos on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time soon. Bye.